Hey guys, it's Alana, aka The Fitness Chick. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. I wanted to actually preface this video with this message for people who assume that I might eat the same thing every day. I don't. I used to eat the same thing every day and it really didn't bother me. It still doesn't really bother me, but I don't because I'm still playing with my diet, trying to figure out how to meet all of my macros. I really just switch things up according to my goals. Like if I'm not making enough protein during the day, then I'll add something or take something away, switch something out like that. But everything that I show you guys, I do really eat it, of course. Like I don't yeah, I do actually eat the food that I show you guys, but I am still playing with my diet. So I don't want you guys to think that I do eat the exact same thing every single day. And that's kind of what I'm showing in these what I eat in a day series, because like I said, my diet changes, it changes. So um, I don't eat the same thing every day. Like some meals I do, like breakfast, I pretty much consistently have the same thing. But as far as everything else, it's subject to change. So you guys kind of just have to figure out what works for you. You can take away from my recipes um, and of course use them for your own goals. But yeah, I just thought I should go let you guys know that in case you thought it was different. Okay, so let's get right into this video. Okay, so starting off with the breakfast, I didn't go too deep into detail because I feel like y'all have seen this before. It's pretty much just kale, egg whites. I think I have four egg whites this morning with kale and then oatmeal. So in my oatmeal, I just use honey, nutmeg, cinnamon, a pinch of salt. And today was actually my first time trying PB2 powder instead of peanut butter. I don't know if I like it yet. Um, I think I like peanut butter better, but this is with less fat and less sugar. Like if you use the PB2 powder. So I was like, whatever, I'll try it. And then with my peanut butter, I'm um, with my oatmeal. I always have bananas um, or some type of berry, and I put extra honey and cinnamon on top. So with my eggs today, I topped it with some salsa because I just like to eat my eggs like that. And this chili and lime seasoning is literally the holy grail for me now. I started putting it on everything. But yeah, that's just what I have for breakfast today. So for my pre-workout quote unquote meal snack, whatever today, I had a yogurt cup and y'all, I hate yogurt. Like, ugh. <laughs> I hate yogurt, but it's such an easy way to get protein in and it's a good pre-workout. So I forced myself to eat it, but the only way I can eat it is if I eat it with something else like berries um, or something. So I put some strawberries in this and topped it with some chia seeds to make it easier to stomach. Um, and it's actually good like this. This strawberry flavored yogurt has 12 grams of protein in it. So right after I get back from lifting, I had a protein bar because after you work out, your body's starving for protein. Y'all go get these bars. Go get these. They're like $20 for this big box, but they are so worth it. They're bomb. They don't taste like that nasty powdery protein and they have 20 grams of protein in it. One gram of sugar. So yes, go get it. For lunch, I'm having a spicy black bean burger with asparagus. I just put the spicy black bean burger in the um, air fryer for 15 minutes on 400. because I like mine crispy. And I'm sorry, I have no idea what happened to the footage of me um, seasoning the asparagus, but I'll put all of the seasonings on the screen so you can follow along. Y'all also lost the footage of me putting it together, but it's just a Dave's Killer English muffin, half an avocado, kale, red onion, tomato, and that's sriracha on top. And this was so bomb. So a couple of hours later, I had a protein shake. And the protein shake, I add a cup or so, maybe like a cup and a half of almond milk and two scoops of this protein powder. Now, this is not sponsored by Herbalife, but I will say y'all need to go get this too because it is so good. It doesn't taste like, you know, a nasty protein. Like this is the cookies and cream flavor. It really tastes like a milkshake. So I use two scoops of that, one whole banana. Um, I use some of the PB2 powder in this too. This was my first time using it as well in a milkshake. And it tasted, not a milkshake, so what is this? Um, a protein shake. And it actually ended up tasting okay. Added a couple of cubes of ice and blended it. And that's really it. Mm -hmm. 
So for dinner, I had a version of bibimbap. Bibimbap bap. I think. That, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Forgive me if I'm butchering it. But I think it's bibimbap. Um, it's like a Korean dish. But all you need for this really is any vegetable that you want to add. Like I am adding shredded carrots, some zucchini. I think I added an onion, mushroom, and asparagus. And you literally just chop up all of your vegetables, saute them, and I'm gonna show you how I make my sauce. Okay, so I'm using a drizzle of olive oil to heat up in the pan. As soon as it's heated up, I just add my um, onions and you can cook your onions down to your liking. I like all of my vegetables to be a little bit tender, like a little crunch to them. So I just cook them until they're, you know, my preferred tenderness. And then I added the carrots. Now what you want to do if you don't like all of your vegetables prepared in the same way is to saute them and then take it out of the pan and proceed to make the rest of your vegetables. Um, and I'm not seasoning them right now. I'm gonna season them after they're all finished cooking. So I take it out, put it in a container to wait and then continue sauteing and cooking everything else until everything's cooked. I would say that this step is optional, but it's really not. Like, it's kind of necessary um, for the rice to be, you know, the desired deliciousness that we want. So, what you want to do is take a little bit of minced ginger and just toast it in the pan with a little bit of olive oil. And that's going to go inside of your rice. Luckily, I already had some rice made from like a couple nights ago, but you can really use a grain of choice like, I don't know, quinoa, brown rice, whatever. I'm using basmati. Um, so that's gonna go inside of the rice. It's gonna make a world of difference. Seriously, don't skip that stuff. <laughs> Okay, so for my sauce, I'm making my own. Um, well, I'm kind of doctoring this sauce up. So it's the sugar-free sauce by G. Hughes, which is good by itself, but it does need a little bit of help. So I'm gonna put it in the pan while it's still hot. I'm adding sriracha and some honey, um, and I'm going to let it bubble up so it can kind of become like more of a glaze. So after it's finished bubbling and stuff, that's when I'm gonna add my vegetables. Another step that's optional but not really with this dish is frying an egg to go on top of it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm adding my egg. Um, you're supposed to make it easy over easy. Um, but I don't really like the runny yolk thing. Like unless it's ramen, I just, I simply cannot. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, like I said, I already had some rice cooked. So this is when I'm stirring in the toasted ginger. Um, and just, it creates like a very ginger-y rice, but it makes a world of difference. So just stir it into whatever grain you're using and then proceed to add your vegetables. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I've definitely made this dish with an additional protein besides the egg before. Like I made it with salmon and it was bomb like that too. But this particular night, I didn't want anything too heavy, too hectic. But if you want to add like some chicken, shrimp or salmon, whatever you want to do, do what you do. Um, but it's good just like this. <laughs> So to finish it off, I'm topping it with my sriracha egg and some green onion or scallions on top. And yeah, that's really it. And it is bomb. Y'all are not going to regret trying this. This is probably my favorite dish that I made in this whole video. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that I ate this day. for watching i really appreciate your views your love your likes your comments you guys are everything um if you do like this video don't forget to give it a like if you want to see more content subscribe to my channel so that you can be the first to see it let me know though what you guys want to see next in the comments i have an idea of more food videos of course that seems to be most popular but if you guys want to know anything else obviously just let me know and i will get it out to you